Hello and welcome to Do It Yourself Musician. Today I want to talk about USB ground loop noise and how to get rid of it. Uh, if you're not familiar with what USB ground loop noise is, let me crank this up so you can hear it. Yep, that nasty high pitch whine. If you listen close you can hear that there's actually a ground loop noise there. This is a low pitch 60 hertz hum. But there's also that that high pitch noise on top of it and that noise uh, is coming from the computer and it's being transmitted by the USB cables in my sound card. So how do we get rid of that USB noise? Get rid of it with the USB isolator. The USB isolator is a specialized device that uses an optocoupler chip uh, to remove or basically to ground lift uh, the USB cable. Now you can't mechanically ground lift a USB cable. If you were to physically cut the ground line on a USB cable, it, it would not function. You, you have to do it optically with an opto isolator chip. Uh, the problem with that has been historically is that the, those devices uh, built around those chips are very expensive. They're at least $100 and up. Uh, however, there is this one, which I just got, and it definitely cured my problem. This is the HiFime DIY USB isolator, and this one is $33 from Amazon and eBay. I quickly just wanted to show you this uh, Amazon page on this thing. It's the HiFime DIY USB isolator. I hope HiFime is the way you... you uh, pronounce that. Uh, the chip that's in this thing, uh, the little device in there is an ADUM4160. It's the analog device's opto isolator chip. Uh, and for those who want to know, uh, this little gizmo, it does work. It works really good. There are, however, caveats to using one of these. Um, if you want to stick around, I'll explain those. Uh, but let me give you a little demonstration of how this thing works right now. Okay, to demonstrate how this little USB isolator works, let me show you what's happening in my setup. Uh, I basically have a ground loop uh, that comes from my computer, uh, goes into this power conditioner, and gets transferred to this Roland S760 that's also plugged into the same power conditioner. Uh, the outputs, the audio outs of this Roland S760 go to my USB sound card, uh, which then gets transferred back into the PC via USB, completing a ground loop and making that noise. Okay, I want to demonstrate uh, how this thing clears up that noise. I'm going to turn the noise back up. You can hear that ground loop noise. I'm going to unplug the sound card, plug it in here, and then plug the sound card back in. And you can see that it's working and that noise is gone now. Okay, now that I've shown you that the HiFime DIY USB isolator device actually does work, let me talk about two uh, possible problems with it. One is the throughput on that device. Uh, it works fine for me, but I use a uh, relatively low amount of uh, data as far as uh, a USB sound card goes and home recording. Uh, my setup, you can see here, is 44 1 kHz, 24 bits, two channels in, two channels out. And that comes from my uh, Behringer uh, USB mixer. Uh, it works fine for me and it handles that data coming uh, from the two channels easily. Uh, if you have a more traditional sound card and you have a lot of channels or you're using uh, higher sampling rates, you could potentially run into a problem with that USB isolator because it's sold as a full speed USB device, not a high speed USB device. Uh, I can't tell you where you would start running into trouble. I don't, I don't know uh, where the uh, the headroom on that device is gonna gonna stop at and start having dropouts is probably what would happen. Um, there are uh, other 
USB devices that work in a similar way to to isolate uh, the grounds uh, in a, U, a USB audio system that uh, will handle high speed, uh, but they don't cost thirty four dollars like the Hi Fi DIY device does. You're going to pay much more for that. But if you're running a system that big, it might be worth it to pay a couple hundred bucks for a device that can handle uh, the throughput that you need. The other problem that you might have with the hi fi DIY USB isolator device uh, is compatibility. I didn't have a problem with that. Some people on Amazon in the comments reported that they did have problems with the uh, various situations that they were using it in. I, I didn't have any problem. I plugged it into my my mixer um, and I had no no trouble. The computer didn't need to recognize it. It didn't load any drivers or anything. Uh, it just cleared the sound right up. Okay, thanks for watching Do It Yourself Musician. Uh, if you have problems with the USB ground loop, I hope you try that hi fi DIY USB isolator device and I hope it works for you. Uh, see you next time.